poodles look more or less the same across the world, with one big difference, some countries dock the tails while others leave them natural. Why is docking done? Should you choose to have your poodle's tail docked? Should you dock the tails on poodle mixes? Today we talk everything about tail related. Origin of poodle tail docking The custom of docking dogs' tails is very old. There are reports referring as far back as the ancient times in which Romans docked their dogs' tails in order to prevent them from contracting rabies. Around the 17th century, dogs in England were taxed if they were kept as pets or companion dogs. Working animals and farm dogs however were not subjected to the tax. Many working-class dog owners and farmers started to dock their dogs' tails in order to not be taxed for them. Even though nowadays many breed registries claim that their dogs, primarily hunting dogs, need to have docked tails in order to prevent injuries, this was less common in the past. In fact, it was seen as a sign of wealth if dogs did not have their tails docked, meaning that their owners could afford to pay the companion dog tax. Only dogs with unusually long tails or previous tail injuries had them amputated for medical reasons. The AKC, American Kennel Club, was formed in 1884. They established the so-called breed standard for all dog breeds registered with them, including notes on the desired tail appearance. Some dogs, particularly many working dog breeds, were required to have docked tails by this breed standard. All poodles, standard, miniature and toy poodle fall under this rule. In the European Union tail docking has been banned since 1998. All poodles coming from Europe have long, natural tails. Why do poodles get their tails docked? The reasons for tail docking are purely cosmetic. There is no physical benefit for the dog in having a docked tail. The AKC does not permit poodles with natural tails to be shown. So owners of show dogs stock their dog's tails in order to be able to participate in dog shows. At this point many poodles get their tails docked simply because it has always been done this way. It is important to evaluate if there is really any point in docking the poodle's tail, especially for pet dogs there is no reason to do it. Docked tail in pet and sports dogs If you want to keep your poodle as a companion animal or you do dog sports with him, consider picking a dog with a natural tail. For dog sports such as agility or dock diving it is actually an advantage if your dog has his tail, he will use it like a rudder for keeping balance, jumping and making tight turns. Below is a picture of a poodle skillfully using his tail to run across a narrow dog walk. If you pick a type of poodle that will not be a show dog, such as the party poodle or a mix like the Bernie Doodle, there is also no reason to not leave the tail 